Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is February 22nd, 2018, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, starting at, at 11.30 South African time, coming out of United Kingdom, second estimates for quarterly GDP. Now, that could be an important number, and we'll take a look at that as that for rates later today. And then at 2.30 South African time, ECB meeting minutes, and that's happening later today, so that should be an important meeting. Uh, and as you know, yesterday's uh, FOMC meeting minutes, we saw that it was very important as the markets reacted. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So just be aware of this 230 number. And then at 330, monthly retail sales coming out of Canada. Okay, that could be also an important number. We'll take a look at the Canadian dollar. And then at 6 o'clock South African time, weekly oil inventories coming out. And we'll take a look at that. So let's see what's been happening in the markets yesterday. So yesterday's retracement of the Dow Jones created an event where the dollar got much stronger, okay, across the board. And surely enough, the Aussie USD usually takes it the farthest. It's the leading indicator that moved it first. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But we're looking here at the Dow. And as you can see, we basically are setting ourselves up with a resistance at 25,300-ish level on the upper on the upper range uh, on the lower range we really haven't set it up okay the next real support level if you want to call it that is 24,382 uh, and we're about 400 points shy of that so you know with all said and done the market is reacting a little bit of uh, confusion in terms of where you know the markets are holding in terms of inflation and that's what's you know causing the sell-off but the markets are still strong okay so my bigger picture is that I'm still bullish on the Dow, okay, even though we had this retracement. And I would rather have this. I'd rather have this double bottom to have a confirmation and then take it up on the upside. So, you know, weakness is just showing me that there is sellers out there, okay. But if I don't see that there are buyers, then I'm going to change course, okay. But I'm still, you know, bullish on the Dow because it has, you know, gained back much of its uh, losses. So we're about midpoint, okay? If we look at the, uh, you know, the extremities of our all-time high of 26,600, 23,300, we're at, you know, just a little bit below the mid-range of that, okay? So that's not so disconcerting, okay? But if we do continue faltering down, and especially if we falter below 23,300, then I would, you know, change course. But at this stage, you know, it could bounce up later today, you know, Friday, it could bounce up, you know, next month even. Uh, but for right now, there's a little bit of a sell-off here on the Dow, and that's caused a strengthening of the dollar. And we're looking at the euro here, and you can see the euro got much weaker versus the dollar, breaking the 122.89-ish level here as a support. And we're trading right between this 22.89-ish level and 22.18-ish level. So, you know, at this stage, you know, my real next support level is 22.18. Okay, but if we do you know, stop at this 22.50, we may bounce off of it with a reaction, you know, reactionary move, move with the Dow if that's going to take it up higher. So let's keep an eye on that as that continues trading. Look at the GBP USD with this second estimate quarterly GDP number coming out at 11.30 this morning. We sold off, but we didn't sell off as strong as we sold off on the dollar, on the, on the euro. Okay. So, you know, some relative strength here on the GBP versus the dollar. Uh, so, you know, if the event comes out that it's positive for the GDP that's coming out for the Great Britain pound, then I could see a nice bounce here. So keep an eye on that as that, you know, continues to trade. Now looking at the Aussie USD, you see that this massively sold off. We're back down to almost our lows. Okay. So this is a little bit disconcerting, especially because, you know, it had such a quick response to, you know, the after effects of the dollar getting weaker versus the Aussie dollar. Uh, but as you can see, it's the most responsive. So, you know, the Aussie dollar would probably be my go to to trade it out of the three currencies because it is trading most closely to the Dow and I would trade it one against the other. So, you know, at this stage, we may see a bounce as this is really coming to a support level. OK, so let's see how that operates throughout the day. Now, looking at gold, gold continued its slide to 1321. We're below this 1330 level. Real next support level, I would say, is 1311, 1300-ish level. OK, so, you know, but I think we're, you know, at the end of this move. As you can see here at the RSI as well, you're below the 30 level. And I think that that's, you know, that's where we're going to be holding. I don't expect us to go back to the, 
you know, 1357 ish level anytime soon, but I do expect a little bit of a bounce. Okay, so that's what I would be looking for today. Looking at oil, we're still trading right between the 64 and 58 ish level, okay, at 61 ish level. Um, so keep an eye on this later today. If there is any news that comes out and gives us some sort of direction, that would be you know, that would be something to get involved with, you know, especially if we break out at 6240-ish level or we continue retracing further down. A little bit of a tug of war as we spoke about, you know, the price of oil. Uh, back to the Dow Jones. So, you know, just to uh, summarize, summarize for today's, you know, play, we could see a nice bounce today. So I would actually buy a little bit here to see if it does, you know, start confirming some sort of buy and see if we do get that you know, V formation. Okay. That's what I would be looking for some sort of a bounce. Okay. If we don't get that, then, you know, obviously, you know, always start use stop losses. JSC, we, you know, covered this, we, we closed up this gap. Okay. At 50,700 level. And now we're, you know, we, we sold off towards the end of yesterday, but now, you know, we're back to, you know, gapping down again. Okay. Um, so, you know, I'd like to see a little continued buying to see that we're settling off here, that we're not selling off continually. Okay, so that could be our opportunity later today as that poses itself. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day.